All right, so I'm gonna take you through how to change out an attic door. Um, I'm gonna attempt to do this by myself. I've done this before. Um, you gotta take the trim off. All I did was just pull the, usually it's one by four trim, pulled all that off and um, then I put a spacer in there for how far down the current one's setting. So I had a piece of trim, that's how far this door's setting down. And then I just screwed these into the studs. That's gonna hold the door. These two one by sixes are gonna hold the door in place. I'll take my sawzall and saw the nails that are driven into it all the way around. And I'll pick it up and pull it back down. You need to make sure you're gonna get down. You need to make sure that gap in between here is wide enough to get that door out and get the new one up in there. So I'll take the saws all and cut around the door, cut all the nails. All they do is shoot nails in from the sides at strategic spots. There's spots that have to have it in and it's marked on the attic ladder. I'll run the saws all the way around. We'll get it loose and pull it out. And I'll show you how to put the new one in. All right, it is now loose. All I'm going to do, get down here. I'm going to pick it up, push it up, turn it sideways, and slide it down, and it'll come right out. So let me do that. All right, so it's out. Make sure you got a ladder big enough for your weight and that. It weighs probably 50 pounds. Now before you put the next one in, you can go around and clean up the edge all the way around. Knock on the nails down, pull them out, make it clean so you can stick the new one up in there. Alright, so I've got the new one in. This is the trick to doing this by yourself. Your screws. What we're going to do is put a couple screws in this way. And you got to angle them to where they only hit that outside board and don't hit the ladder piece inside, otherwise you'll tie it together. We'll put two on the back side. These are just temporary. And then I'll put two on the front side, and I will angle them in this way. <clears throat> that will hold it in. Then I will undo these pieces, these straps, and pull the ladder down, and then I can put in the permanent screws. So you got to make sure that you've got screws about the right size. These are three inch cabinet screws. So let me get it up here. I will angle them in this way and tie them into this piece of wood. And like I said, it's just a temporary, um, if you're doing it by yourself, it's suggested you use two people to do this, but I usually work by myself, so. And your trim's gonna cover up whatever hole you make. So just angle them in at the side. You don't have to put them all the way in. You're just wanting to get into this board. So do two back here, two up front. That will suspend it and hold it in there. It only weighs about 50 pounds, so it's not too bad. So I'll put these in and then I'll drop it down. All right, you want to go in at an angle. I got a gap here. So you want to go in at enough angle that you actually catch the two by six. You go in too sharp and you'll just be hanging in drywall. So as you can see, both of these are holding it in. Did the same on the back side. And I'll take my screw gun and take these out and I will drop the ladder down. I'm not going to drop it all the way down. I'll just drop it down to about here so I can get in and put the permanent screws in. There you go. Now you got access to screw in the screws all the way around. And get all of them in, then you can take your temporaries out. And it just took four temporaries. As you're pulling those safety boards down, kind of wiggle the ladder and make sure that it's held good. Um, so as you're taking these boards out, Kind of push your hand up on it and make sure that it's not moving 
um, that it's stationary. That's it. All right, so there's certain bolts that have to go in. The ladder should come with, uh, let's see, four, ten, seven sixteenths lag bolts. They're about four inches long. You got one that goes here, here, they're already pre drilled. One there, one here, one here, and one here. And the same on this other side. There, there. One there, and one here. Comes with other bolts. Um, those are the ones that are required. Um, and you'll have, if you ever do home inspections, a lot of times they'll just nail these in. Inspectors will call them out if they don't have these lag bolts in these, these brackets here. Especially in any of this metal, they're gonna require to have these lag bolts in. And the one I took out was installed when the house was built. They just use a nail gun to shoot it in. So, just FYI, make sure your ladder opens and closes good and square. You may have to shift it one way or the other. Make sure it doesn't catch on the sides as you're opening and closing. And you just got to adjust your stairs for whatever height you got. But she's installed.